rolling up onto the block right now. A little piece of NASCAR racing history and Corvette racing history. A very interesting car. Big Bill France had quite a relationship uh, with the folks at Chevrolet, and they sent him a couple of their then new Corvette cars uh, down to be used for racing on the beach and at various events. I have a picture of two of these on the front row at Martinsville Speedway, the paperclip at the front end of a field of NASCAR and Skoda Sports Car Owner and Driver Association co-sanctioned race. Steve? Let's take a look under this beautiful Corvette on the chassis cam. Uh, 53 Chevy ought to have a six-owner. Not so much. That is a V8 swapped in there. Three-speed close ratio transmission. X-frame. Dual exhaust system. Don't look for mufflers on this one. Side pipes is where it was. There's the positive traction style rear end. Now keep in mind, of course, the V8 was not available in Corvette until 1955. This car was built by engineering in 1956. So that's what this accounts for. It's kind of a built for racing kind of a piece uh, done by GM Engineering. Second photo down, I believe that is Martinsville Speedway. Two Corvettes on the front row in that second photo. Corvettes on the beach with bathing beauties and race car drivers. And all the way to the left, that is the madhouse. Bowman Gray Stadium, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where this car ran with number 62 in the International 100. Grand National Stock Cars, Bug Eye Sprites, and yes, Corvettes. You can get a camera inside of the cockpit. There's some nice stuff. There's notations included here. We can see there's a strip of original fiberglass in the dash that shows where some of the original gauges were put. It says here, the gauges were relocated per Chevrolet engineering work order and Maury Rose. And you can see here some... Uh, old patina under the nice fresh paint. That is very cool. That's as in Maury Rose, the famous race car driver. Yeah, Indy 500 winner. Exactly. Now I should point out, we're at two million dollars on the bid, but this is a reserve car, meaning that the consigner has a minimum bid that he'd like to see attained before he's willing to let it go. And at this point, it doesn't appear that we have passed the level that the consigner is willing to let it go for. The oldest known Corvette race car. Yeah, not just NASCAR racer. The, the very first, as far as anybody knows, the very first Corvette that was ever used in sanctioned racing. In the display is a copy of uh, the emblem of the co-sanctioned, that's the NASCAR emblem, 1956, as they co-sanctioned events with Skoda, a northeastern sports car group. Bill France Sr. was a big proponent of combining stock car racing with the international stars and sports cars of the day. It's a significant piece of history, and they have the history of it literally from day one. They know who's owned it, who raced it back in those days. It's a phenomenal piece of race history. But it is not going to make its reserve, and as a result, it will not be sold, at least not today. But remember, you never know. Once it leaves the block, they could get the consigner and a bidder together, and they might strike a deal.